These projects are all quick wins that I've sewn myself and that you can make in a single day. I'm gonna share these 10 projects with you, including two free patterns and where to download them. Raise your hand if you have limited sewing time. All right, I'm gonna assume you have your hand raised right now. And I'm gonna assume if you don't have your hand raised right now, it's because there are people around and you don't wanna look like you're pledging allegiance to some weird sewing cult. Okay, so if you do have limited sewing time, it can be really tempting to give up on your hobbies and on the things you love. And I don't want that for you. I found that the best way to stay motivated is to make sure that you have plenty of easy wins mixed in with those more challenging projects. And if you're a beginner, this is especially important because you really need that feeling of accomplishment to keep going. So these 10 projects are perfect for that. I went through our catalog of over 200 patterns and I picked these out for you. These are all projects that I've made and I wear and I absolutely love. And I'm gonna give you some ideas about how you can make them your own too. Oh, and there are some freebies in here for you. So I'll tell you where to get those as well. All right, so let's start with Joss. And elastic pants are one of my favorite easy sewing projects because you end up with a new pair of pants, but you don't have to worry about sewing a zip fly. The Joss pants are really fun and easy to sew, and I just, I love the silhouette, and I also really like the patch pockets. They're so comfy, and they look great with a t-shirt or with a blouse tucked in. I made these in this beautiful printed rayon with these little clovers all over it, and it's a great way to make some statement pants. You know, party pants. You could also make these in linen. I think they'd look great in linen. You could also make them in silk. I'm planning to do that this fall and just make a really beautiful, flowing, silky pair of pants that's gonna look great with sweaters. Just imagine flowing, shiny silk pants with a fuzzy, luxurious sweater. Mwah. So I've made a few pairs of these and I'll probably sew more whenever I need a quick win. We also have a sew along for this and I'll link to that below. Speaking of sweaters, this is Callan. I love when you can make a quick project that's also totally timeless. It's gonna be in your closet for a really long time. So the Callan sweater, it looks like a sweater, but it wears like a sweatshirt. If you use stripes the way I did, then it makes a really nice nautical top. These Breton stripes will never go out of style. The sweater has a facing at the neckline and at the hem, so it gives us a really polished look and you don't have to mess with neck bands. I used a double knit for this, which is really great if you're brand new to sewing with knits, and you can sew it even if you don't have a serger. You can also use sweater knits or you could use French terry. I think that would look amazing. You could sew buttons on the shoulders like I did, or you could just leave them off. Also has this really cute bell sleeve, which just gives it a little bit of interest. So it's a classic, but it has that little twist to it. Next up is Ash. So this is a recent make of mine that you might've seen me wear in some of our recent videos. I just made this dress and I actually loved it so much that I cut out two more right away. Ash is a slip dress that has such a timeless silhouette. You can practice sewing a French dart, which is really fun. It has a subtle V neckline and it has adjustable straps. The skirt also has slit, so you can move really easily. Even though it looks like a summer pattern, I think it's really layerable. I'm planning to wear mine, the sweater layered on top in colder weather. And I think it would also look great with a long sleeve knit shirt underneath, which is a look that I go for a lot in the colder months. I made mine in rayon chalet. I think silk would also be gorgeous. Linen would also be lovely. Anything that's light and flowing. All right, and next we have the Pfeiffer tank. I love the ruffled neckline on this top and I've loved it so much that I've already made this tank top and then I've also made it lengthened into a dress. The ruffle is pretty quick to make, but you can even eliminate it if you want a really, really quick sew and something that's very, very simple to make. While you can use silky fabrics for this top and I think that looks beautiful, you can also use fabrics like gingham or shirting. I'll link to my Pfeiffer project below and we also have a sew along for this one. Now we have Lenny. So this pattern has been really popular over the years and once I made it, I understood why. So Lenny is a classic turtleneck dress, but I actually shortened it into a top, which a lot of you guys have done too. This pattern has a silhouette that just looks so good on everyone. The turtleneck makes the neckline really, really easy to finish, so it's just a super fast sew. So I made this in a striped rib knit, and I've also made it in a dress in rib knit, and I made a whole video about that with tons of tips for sewing with rib knit, so I'll link to that below as well. All right, next up is Goldie, and this pattern is a really quick sew. It actually only took me about two hours to make mine. It might be quick, but it has a few details that make it look like you took a lot of time. It has a wide sweetheart neckline that's cinched with elastic here at the center front. The sleeves are slightly gathered at the top and that gives it a really fun shape. 
I made mine in a rib knit that has these cute little flowers all over it. I'll share a link to this project and the Goldie Sew Along below. So the Madu Top. The Madu Top is beginner friendly and it's a super satisfying project that you can make in a single day. It features raglan sleeves and elastic casing at the neckline and the sleeve hem and the hem. The elastic casings are what take the longest with Madu, but they're actually really no fuss to sew. I made Madu myself and I actually hacked it into a dress. I even had time to add this beautiful ladder lace insertion in between the tiers that I added. That might take you a little bit more time, but it is a lovely, easy hack. I'll link to the ladder lace video below, and we also have a Madu Sew Along for Seamwork members. All right, Orlando. Orlando is one of our most popular t-shirt patterns. So if you're still on the quest for the perfect fitted t-shirt, it might be this one. It hugs your body in all the right places, and I think the neckline is just really great for styling with jewelry or with silk scarves. I actually modified my neckline to be even wider, but I'm planning to make more, and I think I'll use the standard neckline in the next ones. You could probably make this in a few hours if you use a serger. We have a sew along that's packed with tips for sewing knits, even if you don't have a serger, so I'll link to that below. We also have a really cool tutorial here on YouTube for doing a shell tuck along the edges, and this is the perfect pattern for it. So now I wanna share a couple patterns that you can currently get for free. So Hanzi is a free pattern that you can download from seamwork.com. The sew along is also free. So if you want a free pattern and a sew along class that's gonna hold your hand the whole way, then this is for you. It is perfect for beginners. So Hanzi is a woven t-shirt with a face neckline and it has a patch pocket here on the chest. Hanzi is so easy to make and it hardly takes any yardage, so it's really the perfect pattern to use if you wanna use up fabric from your stash. Woven t-shirts are such a great project if you just need a quick boost or if you just don't have very much time to sew. They look great with jeans, but you can also use a dressier fabric if you wanna make a fancier top. And finally, we have the Benning pattern. I absolutely love this dress and it's currently free for summer 2024. Now, if you're watching this later, I want you to know that we rotate our free patterns and we send a new free pattern every few months to our mailing list. So definitely get on the list if you wanna get all of our free patterns and get new ones all the time, and I'll link that below. All right, let me show you Benning. So Benning is a perfect one day sew. It has a V neckline and this fun floaty silhouette with this two-tiered skirt. Most of the pieces are just large rectangles, so it's actually really quick to cut out. There are also no closures like zippers or buttons, so that really cuts down on the time it takes to sew it. You can sew this in wovens that are really easy to sew, like chambray, or you could sew it in linen. I think that would look amazing. I made mine in this pretty cornflower blue cotton seersucker. I really, really love this fabric. Seersucker is awesome for floaty dresses like this. And we have a sew along for this pattern as well, so I'll link that below. So I have one extra tip that drastically speeds things up for me. So even though these are all patterns that you could cut and sew in a single day, what I like to do is batch my cutting and batch my sewing. So what I mean by that is I'll cut out a few patterns all on one day, and then I'll do my sewing on a separate day. And I find that batching my tasks like this really, really speeds things up. You don't have to do all the setup and tear down moving between tasks. And often I'm in the mood to cut or I'm in the mood to sew, and I'm not often in the mood to do both. So batching my cutting just makes things faster and more motivating for me. Remember that with any creative hobby, staying motivated and staying interested is absolutely key. And that's why I'm here. So if you want those free patterns, check the links below. And if you wanna see more of my own projects as I build my own me-made wardrobe, check out this video next, which is all of my projects from 2023.